I'm continuing this series of bite-sized BI demos by showing how to create an Excel Services dashboard. From my BI site in SharePoint, I can go to Site Actions and click on More Options. This opens up a dialog to let me create a new item. I'll filter by the library type and then choose the Dashboard's Library option. I need to give this library a name and then click Create. This will create a space for me to store multiple dashboards and reporting items. If I go to the Documents tab of this library, I can expand the New Document options. I get these options to create web part pages. In this case, I'll create the page with the status list. I'll give this a name, but otherwise leave the settings as the defaults. This gives me a blank canvas to start working with. SharePoint knows I'm creating a dashboard, so the page already has a couple of Excel Web Access web parts. I can go to one of these web parts and select to open the tool pane. I'm asked to choose a workbook to use. I'll go to the shared documents of this site and choose this sales workbook. I then need to choose a named range. I'll choose my price named range. I have various other settings I can alter, such as deciding whether or not users should be able to open this spreadsheet in Excel. At the moment, I'll just leave these as defaults and click OK. So that's added one part to my page. I'll open up the tool pane for the second option. I'll choose the same workbook. This time I'll choose the sales name range. Last time I left the toolbar as default. This time I can cut it down. I could remove the toolbar altogether, or I can choose just to remove specific options. So there I have my two web parts. On the left hand side I have the full options, including open up an Excel, open a snapshot of this site, refresh data, and I can use this view option to switch between my named ranges. In the second web part, I have a cut down options, so I can refresh the data in this and recalculate any values, but I can't save or edit this workbook. You can design your dashboards to have a range of options, perhaps allowing people to open the thing up in Excel, perhaps locking it down, giving people the appropriate amount of access for their needs.